Maybe we'll sneak between these <laughs> vehicles. Oh, sweet. That was really good. I'd love to see that way more often and puts itself into park. Hey YouTube and welcome to another full self driving version 13.2.2. .2. We are driving in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And we were, we are going to do a drive out of this parking lot. And uh, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. I'm not sure what this navigation is doing. Normally, what you would do is you would turn onto this lane here, and then you come around this way. This is how you're supposed to do it. But we can also come back out of the parking lot, kind of make our way to the right here, and come around and do a U-turn. So it's a little bit more sketchy. Not as safe, but it should be uh, interesting. So we are going to go from uh, press the start FSD and away we go. So actually what I should say is we're going down to the Scotia Bank that we normally go to. So this first part of the drive so looks like we're backing up right at the same time as this car in front of us is going out. So we might just go around the parking lot here and exit. Okay, cross some lanes or some parking spots. A little bit of hesitation, a little bit of jerkiness on the steering wheel in a parking lot. We've got some light snow today. I can show you we've got, looks like, looks like the snow is gonna get heavier soon. Although I think that's just light snow. So we've got two vehicles. We should be able to proceed, make a right hand turn. We need to go to the far lane. Perfect. And we, when we get to these lights in front of us, we will be making a left hand U-turn. So far handled very well. Waiting for traffic. If we go, we should go. Yeah, that's perfect. Far lane. There's a vehicle coming up. He's gonna have to slow down a little bit. He's changing lanes. And we're gonna make a right-hand turn here. So very well done. Very well done. I could only have done it a little bit quicker myself, but everything was done really, really well. So we have a stop sign. Got some construction fences to our left. At least we can see, well, I can't see as well anymore. Just the angle of the fences. But the car can see. So we should go. We really should go. Well, I would have gone, I would have normally tapped the accelerator, but, and come on car. Go. It's being very cautious. All right, well, we made it. I did not end up tapping the accelerator. So that is an example where it's being a little bit overly cautious. When the close lane opens up, or if somebody is turning, you can, and you can see their indication of their lights, their signal light is on, and they're starting to make that turn, we should have proceeded. Human drivers would have proceeded 
I would have proceeded, but the car hesitated and waited. We didn't get honked at, which was good. Sometimes you do get honked at. And a good stop here. I'm going to keep checking my camera. I seem to have, I seem to get it turning off on me and doing some very weird, quirky things today. Not sure why. Seems to sometimes freeze on or it decides that it wants to stop recording on its own. Just clean my windows when we get to this light here. So I haven't heard of any new software updates uh, upcoming for version 13. I did see a post on uh, that there's a version 13.2.2.1. Um, but I don't know if it's rolling out or if it's beta testers. I really haven't heard much. I don't even know where I saw that. I think I saw it on X platform. So it's good that the car is staying in the left-hand lane because often, it, okay, it went over a pothole. But often uh, cars are parked in the right-hand lane and the left-hand left -hand lane is the preferred lane. It used to always make its way to the right-hand lane and then it had to keep changing lanes in previous versions, uh, version 12 especially. But our roads are pretty clear today, besides them being a little wet, even though we have minus seven Celsius. And we are gonna get stopped by this light. Yep. I could tell the light was gonna change because if you watch the, the crosswalk, they have a timer that shows it counting down. Well, there. <laughs> there's a human driver. I don't think I'll stop. I'll just go right through that red light. Definitely illegal. But once the timer gets down to zero, then you know the light's going to change most of the time. It's not always the case, depending on the intersection. So speed change to 60 kilometers an hour. And we're set for a 5% offset so 63 kilometers an hour. This used to be a 70 kilometer an hour road and people, uh, it's been under construction for a long time. You could see that in my previous videos, but people prefer to do 70 kilometers an hour or more here. Looks like my car has boosted itself to 81. I don't know why it's done that. I'm gonna knock it back down because I don't want a speeding ticket. We'll put it to 65. Not sure why it did that because we are set for, let's show it, 5% max speed offset. But sometimes it doesn't pay attention to what I want. I think it defaults back to its 40% and ignores what I have set up for myself. 40% um, is the recommended that Tesla puts in there. I can show you that as well. So we go to autopilot, you can see it says 40% recommended. So I think that's what the car had picked up was that 40%. So the next light coming up, this one right here at St. Vital Road, 
is has a red light camera and speed camera on it. So it's got basically radar at the camera. And if you're going too fast, you could get a ticket in the mail. Uh, they'll just take your picture and send you a speeding ticket. Or if you go through the red light, it'll do the same thing. So I'm just gonna make sure our speed is 60 kilometers an hour or less. So it looks like we're good. Car is set for 65, I believe. Yeah, still set for 65 kilometers an hour. Camera is still recording, that's good. No hesitation with that vehicle pulling out and nicely through this yellow light. That was a good decision. We're pretty much a straight shot to our destination with one slight turn and we have a few lights. But so far handling this quite nicely. So we're getting in some daylight drives. My previous video was a nighttime drive, or one of my previous videos, nighttime in the winter on snowy roads. And uh, I think it was a pretty good video overall. I tend to watch my videos back, and if I'm not interested in watching my video, I know you guys won't either. But I actually enjoyed watching that one myself. It was nice, uh, nice and short, not too long. So if you go back and take a look, uh, version 13.2.1, nighttime driving the winter roads. I'll put a link I'll put a link in the video description and uh, see if we can get something set up for the end of the video. And you can watch that one. So we have a pedestrian walking through the middle of the intersection or this meridian. No hesitation on that. So the drive right now feels really good. The car slows down and speeds up appropriately and it drives in a good position on the road. Uh, in previous builds, sometimes it would lean to the left or right of the road. Would not feel natural, but what we have now is pretty natural. There still needs to be improvement, especially with avoiding potholes. That's a big one. It seems to be getting a lot better in the winter. Even with the early build or the later builds of version 12, when our we had some snow, I didn't feel comfortable using full self driving because it accelerated too quickly and it decelerated um, very quickly as well. So I just felt like it was going to slip and slide all over the place. But with version 13, acceleration and deceleration are very, very smooth. So we're getting up to our max speed quite nicely, 65 kilometers an hour. I think that's approximately 43 miles an hour. Don't quote me, it's probably close, maybe 45 miles an hour. So we need to get to the right hand lane pretty soon. 
if we wait till after this light, then we will have to merge into the traffic. So we'll have to slow it down and move in. So beautiful weather traffic around. They're pretty far back there. So almost done our drive. So speed drops to 50 kilometers an hour, about 31 miles an hour. Uh, looks like our speed offset is to 58, so I'm not sure why. It should have jumped down to 52 kilometers an hour. Signal light came on nice and early and nice smooth turn. And another left hand turn in here. Be interesting to see where the car parks. It looks like the parking lot is pretty full. So we should turn right. Maybe we'll sneak between these <laughs> vehicles. Oh, sweet. That was really good. I'd love to see that way more often. And puts itself into park. I would straighten myself out. The, we're a little bit crooked to the right. And we could be over this way a little bit more and a little bit straighter in. But uh, it's not bad. All right. So there's another full self-driving video on version 13.2.2 in a little bit of snowy conditions. We didn't get any warning messages today. So that's all right. And hopefully you liked the video. So please hit the like on there if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you'd like to see more content and share it with your friends. So thanks for watching and we will talk to you later. Bye for now.